Hello and welcome to my painting video. In this video I will be painting a wall of the Zone Mortalis terrain of Necromunda Dark Uprising. I recently bought this huge box and I couldn't wait to start painting all that scenery. I tried to come up with a fast and efficient way to paint it. I like the look of the official paint scheme so I tried to get close to that. Let's begin. To start off I spray painted all the walls with Wraithbone Primer. This is because I will use a contrast paint as the main color of the model. Wraithbone works really well with contrast paints. The main color will be Leviathan Blue. Because it is a contrast paint, one thick layer makes a great cover. Don't worry too much on hitting parts that need to be white as they can be touched up later. Now I will wash the entire model with Agrax Earthshade. This will darken the blue and will give a nice bone color to the white panels. For my next step I'm going to dry brush the blue bulkheads with Hoeth Blue. I dry brush from different directions to give it some texture. The second dry brush is Celestra Grey. This will bring out a lot of details on the bulkheads. The last dry brush will be on the white panels. I will use Shusapti Bone for this. Just enough to give it a bit more color variation. The bulk of the work is already completed. At the end of this video I will show you how to weather this wall because it looks way too clean. To paint all the metal parts I'm going to use a quick method. I start off with a base coat of lead belcher. For variation I will also make some copper plating. Use Balthazar Gold as the base coat. Now I will wash all the metal parts with known oil to give it some shading. For the final step I will highlight all the metal parts including the copper plating with Stormhost Silver. With the metal parts done it's time to do some small details and weathering. Now it's time to paint the lights which every wall has. I start out with a base coat of Thunderhawk Blue. Besides the actual light I will also paint the base coat on the wall itself. Make sure this is slightly more watered down to blend it more. I will use two highlights. The first highlight is Celestra Grey. Apply in thick lines. The final highlight is Ferenzian Grey. Only apply this on the lights itself. The eerie corridors of the underhive are now dimly lit. Now we can go on to the final step. To quickly weather the walls I'm going to use an old brush with some typhus corrosion. Make sure the brush is not overloaded and just go to town on the walls. The bottom parts are a good place to start and you can make some streaks running down the white panels. And there we have a wall ready to be used in a game of Necromunda. The scenery in the Dark Uprising box is fantastic and it's a lot of fun to paint. This quick tutorial just shows you how to paint the main walls. There are a lot of small details like screens and text that you can paint afterwards to give it more character. Do not oppose the will of Lord Helmar and thanks for watching.